Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. In this video I'm going to talk about a very important topic about how to configure and set up the signals in the Kinesic mouse. So let's have a look at the signals. You go to settings, signal preferences and here you can see all the signals that are available in the Kinesic mouse. So there are actually three different categories uh, when it comes to signals. The first one are the rotations, the second one are the translations and following then are the facial expressions which are also divided into certain areas of your face. So we will start with the rotations and for demonstration purposes I have reset all the signal bounds to their default levels and let's start with the rotation right and left. So the first thing you want to do is um, to put your head in a neutral position and hit the recenter button. Note that there is a 3 seconds timeout starting and when it reaches zero then a snapshot is made of your neutral position and all the rotations and translations are recentered to their zero levels. So now that we have captured this neutral position you can try to move your head to the left and to the right and as you can see here uh, I'm not able to reach the top. So what we have to do is to adjust this upper bounce to a level where it is comfortable for me to rotate my head to the left and to the right. That's usually about 30 degrees but might be different in your condition. So as you can see now when I rotate my head I'm perfectly able to reach the top with the signal. So the next thing if I rotate the head now you can see that the signal is slightly jaggy and in the absolute mode or in the relative mode this results in a chittering of the mouse cursor on screen. So what you want to do here is to introduce or increase the mean slider and as you can see this will smooth out the signal but as a drawback there's some kind of delay introduced in the signal so it, it will not react as sharply as without a mean so you have to find a balance between uh, a smooth and nice and even signal and a very reactive signal so and we can do the same for the rotation up and down um, let's introduce some mean already and um, decrease the upper bounds to about 25 degrees and as you can see I'm now perfectly able to reach the top and the same thing also for the tilt I will decrease uh, this level and let's check it and you can see I'm perfectly able to reach the top. So now what are the lower bound range sliders for? With the lower bound range sliders you can introduce some kind of dead zone. So let's check it with the tilting. Um, as you can see now uh, the signal is chittering around uh, at the zero level and if I want to introduce some dead zone at the zero position I can increase the sliders to let's say about 10 degrees and now I can tilt my head between those 10 degrees without affecting the signal. But if I move my head further to the left and to the right I'm able to rise the signal perfectly. So by raising the lower bound you can introduce some kind of dead zone. So the next cate category we have to look at are the translations and the translations are different from the rotations in a matter that you have to actually move your head and don't rotate it. So I will show it uh, for the sideways translation, so translation left and right. So if I move my head uh, in this plane, this will affect the translation. So note that I'm not rotating, I'm translating. And of course here we can also adjust the upper bound to about um, 4 centimeters and now I'm able to reach 
the top with the signal. And in the last category, we have the facial expressions. And let me choose, for example, the eyebrows up. And as you can see, at a neutral position, the signal is chittering around about from 0 to 0 0.2. What I want is to read out this random uh, chittering by raising the lower bound. So the first thing when configuring a facial expression is to raise the lower bound until the signal is perfectly zeroed out. And then I'm performing the expression by raising my eyebrows. And as you can see, I'm able to reach about 0 0.6 um, of the signal. So what I will do is to decrease the upper bound. And now I should be perfectly able to increase the signal between 0 and 1. So now this signal is uh, perfectly configured and you may uh, assign it to a click action or any other action you would like. And the same thing goes for any other facial expression. The first thing, uh, adjust the lower bound to a degree where the, le the level is perfectly zeroed out. And the second thing um, is to decrease the upper bound to a level um, where you can reach the top of your signal. And then you're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you configuring your signals for your perfect fit. And see you next time.